Hello, today I'm going to record this video for Construct 2, my series of 10 minutes with Construct 2, and I'm going to cover uh, a couple of small tricks that I've found while I've been working with the Construct, and, and I think they are really useful. So let's get to it. Basically, the trick that I'm going to explain, um, I implemented it in this game, Row Like the Alien, that you can download here. You can download, uh, well, not just the the game itself but the, the entire file for the game construct file so you can check it there so uh, let me go back to construct and I'm going to explain what it is so usually when you have a free event you have a restriction on the number of events that you are going to be able to uh, to create that restriction is of 100 events the part that you are not really going to see at least not at the beginning has to do with the fact that uh, global variables also add to that. So when I created originally this game, I had something around 120 events, and I was using the paid version, and I wanted to be able to share this game with also free users. So I was struggling on how to reduce the number of events and put it in, in, into 100. As you can see right now, it's only 59 events, so almost half of the number of events that, that I was using and quite below what, what you would have with the limit. So what is the entire problem? Uh, whenever you have an event, you are a normal event, you can see it here, it, it's number, and obviously that counts, this entire event counts for, for the limit. Then uh, this one again, 2, 3, etc., etc. But then you're going to add a global variable that in this case, in this particular game, that it was a roguelike kind of game, I was adding a lot of global variables to keep track of different things in my game. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to add a global variable, variable 1, yeah, whatever. And then from 59 events, it went to 60. So it turns out that the global variables also add to the number of events that you're going to have. I'm going to say Yes, I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to go back to 59. <clears throat> so what I was uh, uh, really like thinking is like, how could I lower the number of variables? How could I uh, try to figure out what, uh, like, what what I can do? So what I did was to create this small element that I call uh, variable container, and it's just a sprite. You can see here, it's just a sprite. And the part that uh, you are not restricted is the number of instance variables. So uh, when you have a sprite, you can add instance variables. And in this case, I added almost everything here, like around 20 some variables here. And then you can access them. And uh, if your variable is just going to be used inside the game, inside the level, perhaps not in the menu, or something like that, it's just going to be used for the gameplay, then you can put almost everything in an instance variable. So that's what I did. So right there, I was able to lower to lower 20, 20 some events out of my game. And that was kind of like making it all ready for the 100 events that I, that I was looking for. Uh, after that, I, of course, uh, kind of polished the game even more and lowered the number even more. So the entire thing is like, how should I do that? Well, first thing, uh, I'm going to do it here, and just to show you, you can create a sprite. It's just normal sprite here. I'm going to give it a red color so it's quite visible. Have it there. And uh, quite likely we'll have to move it. See the shadow game, I can move it over here. So I'm going to put it there at the moment. So I can make it a little smaller. So one of the things is that uh, this this sprite that we have here, I'm really not going to use it anywhere, so I can put it outside the, the level. And the thing is that then you can create instance variables. So here on the left side, on the left uh, property pane, I can just click here. So I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to make one that is going to be called, I don't know, name. And that could be a string text and initial value my new name and then I can add another one that is going to be called I don't know my cool score whatever I want it to to be and that's it so the thing is that here you can add as many instance variables as you want 
or well at least I haven't found a limit for that so far I think at some point I create something like 50 and it worked okay so when you have that how do you access that uh, since you're going to be here on the events and uh, on the game events how do you have access to this sprite that I'm going to rename is like my variable container mm, and it's over here so how do I have access to those well it's quite simple if you're going to create an event and you're going to ask so we're going to ask for something you just go my variable container and then compare instance variable and then you can have access to whichever you want so my name let's say if my uh, my cool score is equals to a thousand then I can do whatever then what about the actions how do you do that well it's basically the same uh, if I want to change the variable container then you just go here to well pick my variable container you can add set toggle or blue whatever it is and I'm going just to say and I'm going to say that my name is going to be awesome John or whatever it is and uh, it has to be in between quotes and then it works so you have access to that but what if you're going to do something uh, that has to do like with with an expression so let's say I already uh, have uh, I don't know some sort of text so where's the text text score so let's say that I'm going to change the text score and I'm going to add my cool score here so I'm going to look for that uh, where's the text score text uh, uh, text the score score so this is the one and I'm going to change the value that it has there the text and I want to put the, the same value that I have in my variable container so I'm going to say this is equals to my variable container dot and then the name of the variable that you created the instance variable so in this case uh, I think it was my cool score uh, well, I don't remember exactly the name but I can find it here on the list my cool score and say done so it the only thing that you have to add in uh, or that you have to change is that before the name of the variable how you would do it on a global uh, variable you just have to add the name of your container and then dot whatever you want and that also works for other kinds of events let's say system let's suppose that you want to compare two variables so you want to compare the, the score the my cool score uh, with I don't know the name or whatever it is so you just have to say my variable container dot my cool score and if this is equals to I don't know 333 whatever it is so the only things that you have to do is to remember how to do this that is just my variable container or however you name your variable container dot what you have apart from that you can create events that are going to be able to access that value and that are going to be able to modify that value so you don't really have to do much and that's exactly what I did with my variables container that is this yellow uh, box that I created here so for example here I'm just checking if picked is more or uh, equal to variables container items need so I'm even comparing two variables that I already have in my variable container so uh, I can do that like comparing two values in and that's totally okay and uh, here in this case I'm changing I'm toggling like a, a boolean value and that's not a problem the same thing here so you can just put them there and just doing that you're going to be able to save all the variables instead of adding all the variables here now is this useful for everyone perhaps not but it's quite likely useful if you know that you're going to get close to 100 uh, uh, event limit that you have on the free version if you already have one of the paid versions you don't have to do this you can just keep adding uh, variables as much as as many as you want and you're not going to have any limit on what you had here so well that's it so that's it for this video um, I'm going to prepare a second part that is a completely different trick and please let me know what you think and contact me and make questions and suggestions thank you